This is 1970 No S Rosewood Diamond PR69 cameo condition. Amazing cameo surfaces are mainly untoned and well impressed. Experts seem to think that only about 2200 dimes were struck without S mint mark. This was due to the fact that one die was prepared at Philadelphia and sent to San Francisco to be used. Apparently, the quantity mentioned above was released before the mistake was found and corrected, giving a collector a great error to acquire. This elusive dime ended up selling for $1980. And here is newly discovered specimen of popular 1969 S double die verse Inkland scent. It was recently showcased at Stax Powers auction, rated in Minsta 63 plus read by PCGS and proven by CEC. Doubling on all of verse letterings are included, except the mint mark. Exciting as a newly discovered example of this rare variety, this is an important choice full red scent. It is attractive with bright, even pinkish rose mint color on both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. The 1969's double diverse is an extremely desirable variety, having an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces based on combined certification service statistics this elusive specimen was sold for seventy two thousand dollars 1941 washington quarter in pr68 plus condition bright silver gray interiors border amazing peripheral shades of peach orange magenta violet and forest green hues on both sides the underlying surfaces of this superb gem proof are unmarked and fully struck up this time for the finest collection of the Proof Washington Quarters, it was sold for $3,720 on August 18, 2023. Here is 1951 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1951 S. Jefferson Nickel has one of lower mintage for circulation strike series. The 1951 S. appears to be scarce in MS66 grade and higher. Less than 500 examples have been confirmed by PCGS in MS66 condition, with less than a handful known in MS67. This one with full steps ended up selling for $10,600. This is 1951 the Roosevelt time in MS68 condition, sandy silver patina to most areas, the obverse periphery with halo of more vivid olive orange iridescence enhancing the coin's appearance. There is not even a single notes vibration, as one should demand at uppermost reach of the mean state grading scale. It was sold for $2,185. Here is 1953 Franklin half dollar in MS66 plus condition with full bell lines. A tough date with full bell lines, this colorful superb gem is sharply detailed with beautiful luster that shines through rich patina. When collectors and numismatists use the term full bell lines, they are referring to the Franklin half dollars where these horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell are particularly well defined and complete. In other words, the lines are fully visible and unbroken across the bottom part of the Liberty Bell's image. These FBL specimen was sold for six thousand dollars. 2022 D Lincoln Shield Sand, graded in Mint State 68, read by PCGS. This pen is radiating vibrant mint luster, featuring boldly struck, pristine device elements and distraction-free fields. I appeal is outstanding. With overall 59 beads, it ended up selling for $3,262. Moving on with his 1941 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 68 with full steps. Fully struck, flawless surfaces shine with luster and are overlaid in beautiful blended lavender, gold and rose toning. It ended up selling for $6,500. Number 6. This is 1915S Buffalo Nickel in MS 66 condition. A loose specimen with dynamic beaming mint luster. This seemingly perfect San Francisco mint nickel boasts a wondrous eye appeal and soft pink highlights and a very nice strike. It was sold for $6,969. Here is 1916 the Mercury Dime in MS63 condition with full bands. The key to the Mercury Dime business strike set and one of the most popular of all US 20th century coins. A stunning select example, brightly luster surfaces featured dappled russet, blue-green and golden tones. 
Well, the tale was great eye appeal for the great. It was sold for $22,000. This is 1939 Lincoln Cent in PR67 plus red condition. Extraordinary bright orange surfaces are uniformly mirrored and finished with virtually pristine appearance. Upper end gem standing for a survivor of these 13,520 pieces proof issue. It was sold for $3,055. Here is 1971 as proof Eisenhower dollar with type 1 reverse graded as PR68 dip cameo by PCGS. This coin is an original gem housed in original package from the mint is accompanied by a special box boasting rolling watery mirrors and sickly frosted devices hazy sky blue patina appears on surfaces attesting to the originality of this first year of eisenhower dollar series it was sold for $30,550. In 1959, the Rose Watami in 68 condition with full bands. Boldly struck, flawless surfaces display George's pastel rainbow hues on the reverse. Tied for the finest, this elusive dime was sold for $5,000. This is 1999, the Rose Watami in 69 condition with full bands. A superb business strike 10 cent piece in threshold of numismatic perfection. Just one point prevents this dime from the finest grade available. That is MS-70. Strike is tack sharp and both horizontal bands on the torch are delineated. It was sold for $1800 on August 20th, 2023. 1919 Walking Liberty of Dollar in MS-64 condition. CEC proven early walker. Scarce date was pretty luster. An attractive rim toning. This wonderful gem was sold for $5,250. 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. This is an exceptional example of the proof 1942 Washington Quarter, both sides with crescents of intense multicolored iridescent patina around the peripheries, otherwise lightly toned in pale silver. The surfaces are uniformly mirrored in finish with a virtually pristine appearance. Impressive condition rarity from a mintage of 21,123 coins. This example was sold for $4,800. This is 1931 S. Lincoln Sand in MS65 plus red condition. Comes with green CAC label on the holder. CAC is a third party coin authentication and grading service that evaluates coins previously certified by other reputable grading services like NGC or PCGS. CEC uses a strict evaluation process to determine whether a coin's grade assigned by another grading service is accurate and fair. If CEC believes that the coin's grade is appropriate, they affix a special CEC sticker to the coin's holder. This sticker indicates that the coin has passed their additional scrutiny and meets their standards of quality within its assigned grade. This MS65 Plus Red Gem was sought for $1,100.25 was buyer's fee.